Sit still. I'm Cynthia Tobias, and let's just think about that for a minute. Realistically, other than sitting in a school desk, when are you actually required to sit completely still? Okay, having your blood pressure taken or having an x-ray or MRI, but most of you who are watching or listening to me right now, you've been moving in some way ever since I started speaking. According to the research, about 40% of us are highly kinesthetic by nature, and that means we are born to move. Now, when it comes to getting our kids to pay attention, the key is not just insisting they learn to sit still, although that may help the teacher, but in helping them discover ways they can move without distracting others. For many of us, moving around actually helps us learn and focus, and sitting still just works backwards. After all, if you need to move and a teacher makes you sit still, what are you thinking about? That's right, moving. So aren't we missing the point if all you're thinking about while I'm teaching the lesson is the fact that you can't move? What if we could actually stop simply telling our kids to sit still and start insisting they find ways to prove that movement helps them learn? That way, we could all figure out how much of actual learning is a matter of style.